to get it done here today. Carl Johansson, speaking of Pennant beating a reigning world champion in an underdog, Joe, the reigning 74 kilo world champion, also an underdog today, surprisingly. I was really surprised at the results of that poll, how many people had Tim ahead. I think it's gonna be close, but it was something like 70% in Tim. Rather surprising. Carl looking to prove the odds wrong with 252.5 in his opener. Carl and Tim, toe to toe at Worlds, tied on and had to be decided on body weight. This is gonna be very close today. Now we're expecting Tim to squat a bit more, but Calais has the deadlift. The thing is, judging by the training, so does Tim now. We'll have to see how it all shakes up. No major ask there, that was smooth. No notes on that one, that looked like an opener. Yeah, he got pulled out of position coming out of the hole. And if he can make some corrections, he'll be in a much better position to fight. Even Pena needs to be in proper position if he's gonna fight through a sticking point. And 265 for Carl Johansson of Sweden. We're right up against his PB. His best is 267 and a half. little ways away from the squat world record, but he's probably not gonna take a swing at that. He needs these kilos. But he's a young man with a lot of heart. Junior world champion in 22, open world champion in 23. Yeah, very rare you see a junior world champion enter into the open in the first year take the open world title. <laughs> that was some work. It was, but he spent quite a long time right at the bottom. So I think this is smart attempt selection. Small PB. Yeah, Carl probably estimated he's gonna fall behind in squats. But we all remember his come from behind victory at Worlds. He's got a monster deadlift. Yeah, three white lights and Carl goes three for three in the squad event. Why, despite the small bench press, he's confident because he knows what's waiting in the deadlift event. Absolutely. Now, Kelly hasn't shared much of his deadlift singles recently. We know Tim Monagatti's made great strides on deadlift and that was Calais' big weapon. Yeah, I've seen Carl a 340 single um, about a month out. I'm not sure, I haven't seen singles since, so to your point, I'm not sure we ended off. 177.5. The world record total in the 74s, 800 kilos, and that's held by Shell Bucklin of Norway, who was in attendance tonight watching. He was ready to step in if anyone couldn't make the platform. Did not get the participation, but he's gonna see a little preview of what awaits him at the World Championships. Strong, look good. And he said, if you see my total at Worlds, throw that out the window. I'm much stronger now. He already has He's proven that. proved that already. 185 for Carl Johansson of Sweden, reigning 74 kilo world champion. He won in multi with 182 and a half. He's done 187 and a half in a bench only comp at home in Sweden. Yeah, Tim's strength levels have arisen, but so has Carl's. Like it was going, but just hit a wall. Missed 185 on his second attempt, but looked good, at least partially way through. And we thought maybe some small technical adjustments, and you might get it. 
He definitely looks a little more fired up for this one. So giving the opportunity to pull away from Tim a little bit. Yeah, Tim, in the projected it's close, but Carl, of course, opening 10 kilos more in the deadlift, historically had a bigger deadlift. And there it is. And that's good. And talk about heart. Callie Johansson <laughs> making those adjustments. He missed on the final deadlift last time. I'd love to see him get it this time. You see the obvious pathway around 10 kilos more and then another 10 kilo range around after that uh, with change. Carl Johansson, 310, the reigning 74 kilo champion, pacing for a top five in a massive battle with Tim Monogatti. It's close. He's only three and a half kilos behind Tim right now. And Carl, historically speaking, has a bigger deadlift. Yeah, but look at this. Tim's opening heavier. And Carl Johansson, 330 kilos, 0.5. Shell Backlin, who holds the total world record, holds the deadlift world record as well. And Callie looking to break that in his second attempt. This will put him at 785.5 total. Callie pulled 328 previously for a best. PR territory. Here we go, it's more than he's done on the platform before, but we know he's got a massive deadlift. Not only does he have a big deadlift, he proved at last year's Worlds, he can rise to the occasion when he needs to. Nice, and he's got more left there. That was pretty smooth for a world record, Joe. Callie Johansson has more in the tank. 5,000 pounds there. There is a lot of Swedes in attendance here today. Cheering on Carl Johansson, cheering on Gustav Hedlund, and those men are providing. This to set the deadlift will record back and to get on the podium. A little too much on the day. That was a surprise, actually. I did expect him to move back. 